coming up on Kim of Queens. Listen to... Hold on, hold on, what happened to the Latin? It was easier in English. Raw talent while we get you so far. It's gonna take some time to get used to hard work if you're not used to it. Are you upset? This is my last pleasure. Can you read that? Show me how would you have to read it. Show me. Samantha being legally blind shocked me because I had no idea her vision was that bad. Oh, God. Are you OK? Sort of tripping. How does it affect you as a person? Make this personal. Go. I I can. You can't do that to her before she goes out. I will continue to coach the way I've always coached, and I promise and you. Maybe we need a new coach. I am this close to taking my Miss Georgia crown and smacking everybody over the head with it. set up a little date at the roller rink between Addie and Brooks, but Kelly and I will be chaperoning. Oh, my Let's God. Go. Ah! Sorry, I had it covered. Me and Brooks are going roller skating. It is not a date. It is just simply two friends going skating together. Oh, too fast. I love their hard hands. Oh, they can't get too lovey-dovey. They're not. Don't y'all remember couple skate? That was back in the day. You never had a boyfriend. Oh, what are you skate. talking about? The disco ball would turn, the lights would come down. No, no, no. It's a lie, people. I was the one at the roller rink on Friday nights. Kim just was a nerd, y'all. She wore Argyle socks with knickers and, and, and looked like a boy. Who? Hello. Can I have uh, cheese nachos and a pickle? It's going to be $1.50. Awesome. OK, there you go. What's your name? Samantha. What's yours? Addison. How old are you? 10. You are so cute. Thank you. I look over to my left, and I see this girl that is really, really, really white. And she had purple eyes. Purple eyes. Are you going to be here for a while? Probably, yeah. OK, well, I'll see you when I get done eating. OK. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I think purple eyes is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Kim. Guess what? They look like a baby deer, just got her legs. I found a girl. What girl? I found a girl that can do the pageant. She has white hair, white eyebrows, and purple eyes. I have never seen a girl like her. What do you mean, purple eyes? She has purple eyes. I'm over here hustling, finding a new client, but she don't even believe me. She's so cute. <laughs> Addison, you don't like nobody, honey. Are you sure? I like this girl. Addison is at that age where she can barely say anything nice about anybody. So if she likes someone, I'm intrigued. That's a hot mess right now, Ray. That's the blind leading the blind, honey. I don't know Miss Kim's taste, and I know she's gonna like this girl because she has a personality, and that wins every time. Samantha. Hi. Hi, I'm Kim. Hi. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Hi. 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 Obviously, you're Samantha's mom. Yes. Addison says she met you, and yes. we have a pageant business, and she's one of my girls. Okay, I gotta go to Brooks. Bye. Oh my, my work here is done. Can I have a seat? Because, honey, I'm about of to kill course. myself. Yes, please. Oh, you're so beautiful. Her hair is to die for. Do you know how much I work to get my hair? I pay a lot of money to get my hair like that. Well, it's actually because I have this thing called albinism. It's basically when I have zero pigment. So it makes my hair, my skin, and my eyes lighter. And when people are standing, like, far enough away from me from a certain distance, I can't see them in detail. Sometimes that's good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> because I have albinism. I'm legally blind. I'm not blind, but I just can't see if people across the gym, like, if they're smiling or not. Have you ever done a pageant? Have you ever thought about doing a pageant? Um, I thought it would be fun, but I've never done it before. Do you have any talent? Singing. I love to sing. Oh. How long have you been singing? And to whom have you been singing to? Uh, the shower. Oh. The car. <laughs> oh. And my friends. Oh. Addison has given me quite the challenge, but Samantha's got a real good mojo. She reminds me of me. Great personality. White hair. Do you think the pageants would be challenging for you? I think I'd love it. I think, I think you would, too. A lot of fun for me. How do you feel about that, Mom? Um, I don't want her to feel insecure if she gets up on stage and things don't work out the way that she wants them to. She's a beautiful child, and I don't want for someone to say that she's not beautiful, because she is. No parent wants to see their child feeling discouraged and, and, and sad and, and, and judged. 
it doesn't bother her if she knows somebody is staring at her. But as her mother, it does bother me. What do you say about just at least just dropping okay. by the pageant, please? We're just right down the road, you know, no commitment. Just check okay. it out and see. I can't say that I have ever seen an albino girl in a pageant. And I understand Samantha's mom's concerns, but I want to give her this opportunity. I want to give her this moment to shine that she's probably never had. She would I be think great. Be fun. Yeah. She's mine. We'll come by. We'll check thank it you, out. Mom, thank you. And we will see. All right. Got it? It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come by. We will okay. come by. All right. I promise. Hey. Love the hair color. Thank you. <laughs> she is adorbs. This week's pageant is gonna be F-U-N fun. Raven, this is gorgeous. And I cannot wait to tell the girls the theme of this pageant because it's so cool. How's, how's everything going? How's school been going, girls? Good. Grades Good. up. And also, I've got a big pageant coming up. It is a national pageant. It is in Nashville. I'm only picking two of my all-stars, my pageant pros, to go with me to Nashville. So you girls better perk up. Okay, so look, look, look. This week's pageant is so interesting. It's a huge pageant. It's Miss Atlanta, 2064. Oh. Think Judy Jetson. Huh? Y'all not know who the Jetsons are? Oh. You know who comes to my mind, Lady Gaga. Oh, yeah. Just how she wears her hair real slick back, and she wears like the pointy shoulder thing. Yeah, it's it's gonna like wear a meat dress. dress. You're not gonna no, wear that, a meat dress. Not that part of Lady Gaga, baby. Yeah. <laughs> There's also another little twist, and that is the infamous onstage question. What's your ideal world? Whatever you want to oh see God. happen in this world in 2064. I think that the world is gonna change colors. I think it'll be pink because there's so much pollution in green and zebra. Wouldn't it be cool if I got mashed potatoes and gravy and steak and a piece of gum, you could eat it and you spit it out? I was hoping for a little bit more depth, but okay. I wish that low self-esteem would not exist because I feel like everyone should feel happy about their self. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's the best answer thus far. We got some depth, we got some depth. Okay, Adia, you will be singing. Ave Maria that I believe for you is definitely futuristic. Adia is a really good singer, but all I've ever heard her sing is Diva Girl Swag. Where'd you get that Diva Girl Swag? Yeah. Where'd you get that Diva Girl Swag? And the judges, they're looking for something a little bit more refined. I want to shock these judges. I want to give them something they're not going to expect. And when Adia comes out in this futuristic cool outfit and starts singing opera, it's going to blow their minds. Think Patti LaBelle and the LaBelles in opera. I am very happy that Miss Kim wants me to try opera because if I could sing opera, I can sing anything. Okay, well, we're gonna talk about the future. We're gonna let the past go. So everybody, hit the dough. Miss Atlanta 2064. This is something new and different. This is gonna shake them up. 2064, what is the world gonna be like? I think it's gonna be great. I mean, who cares? I won't be here. I'll be gone. What are y'all gonna do about that? Rejoice, rejoice. I'm, gone. I'm out of here. I'm not listening to it. Just kidding, mother. Yeah, that was ugly. That was, but she you know her birthday's coming up this week. We need to do something special for her. I was thinking of a little family get together just outside of her house. No, 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 no. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right, girl. Because who is your party queen? This is where my excellence lies. Party girl Al. I'll do the cake, I'll do the decorations. Just remember, keep it classy. I Class. always do, Kim. Invite the people she wants to come. Don't invite all your little hoodlum friends. I'm just telling hoodlums? you. Hoodlums? They're not hoodlums. Yep. Keep it classy. Class? Kim, I keep it classy every time. Hey! Hi. How are you, Samantha? Hey, Sam is younger than the girls I normally take on. I mean, she'll be in a totally different age division than my pageant pros but I want to give her this opportunity. And if anyone deserves that chance to shine and have their moment in the sun, it is Samantha. So are you excited? Yes. Like scale of one to 10, 10 being the most excited you've ever been. A thousand. Ah! I am very nervous. When you hear someone wanting to put your daughter into a pageant, first you want to know details because there's so many different ways that it could go. So what this pageant consists of this weekend is a talent and an onstage question and beauty walk, mm -hmm. okay? Oh boy. Talent is huge for us at the pageant place. It's a big percentage of the pageant. And she says she can sing. 
Samantha can sing anywhere, so I actually do think she would be up to the challenge of singing on stage. Go! Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm talking about, soul, baby, go on. Parents always say nice stuff to you, but like coming from somebody that you just met that isn't like your parent, it feels good. I'm feeling this kind of jazz, bluesy type singer, okay? Samantha's got this cool, jazzy vibe to her voice. I mean, it's not perfect, but considering she's just 10, I got a lot to work with. So, I've picked a song for you. Just kind of try a little bit of it. Okay. Can I get it bigger? Because, like, it's small print. So I can't see the words on the details because they're too small. Can you read that? Um, it's kind of like Show I have to hold, hold it a lot it. closer. We can totally get this in bigger print. Samantha being legally blind shocked me because I had no idea her vision was that bad. Dealing with a little girl that has albinism, it does present a few challenges that I wasn't expecting. Coming up, I'm pushing you and her more than you've ever been pushed before. I don't need to be pushed. Remember, connect, connect, connect. And that really has nothing doing with seeing sometimes. It has everything to do with the feeling and energy, okay? I met Samantha and her mom at the skating rink. Samantha could have some problems at this pageant. It's her first pageant. She's very unusual looking and she's legally blind. So it's a kind of a challenge. Let me see you do the tea walk. Okay. Slow it down. Relax. Imagine. Make the judges look like what you want them to look like. In pageants, eye contact with the judges is everything, but now I'm dealing with a young woman who does not have the ability to see the judges, so I'm gonna have to teach her how to imagine the judges in her head. You got it, kid. You've already got it. All I can do is pull it out of you. But girl, when I get your lashes on you, you and your eyebrows, you're gonna look so good. Girl. You're gonna lose lashes. your mind. I feel really excited, like, yes. When my makeup and hair is done and I'm in the dress, I wonder what I'm gonna look like. It's gonna be great. Thank you. Oh my god. Yes, Opera. Hello. I'm so excited. Hello. To see you, girl. Look, my singing helped me win the crown of Miss Georgia. Was I the typical pageant girl? No, and neither is Adia. But I want her to take it up a notch. I want her to learn some opera and shock the judges, and in turn, shock herself. We're just gonna start with some warm ups. Okay. Do you know the words at all? Just Ave Maria. Okay, so I'm gonna just sing the first line and then have you sing it back. And we'll perfect it that way. Okay. I think she needs to be challenged. If you're not challenged, how are you going to grow? You know, especially with her craft. And then the next part is, When it came to the Latin, I was just getting frustrated because how am I supposed to learn this? I knew this was going to be hard, but this is really hard. Go home, we're going to practice it. Let's go. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much, girl. Love you. Yeah, love Appreciate you. Appreciate all you do. Opera is hard, y'all, but Adia's already writing her own songs. She has the musical talent to learn opera. She can do it. Are you excited? Yes. You're gonna love this place. It's right down here. It's called Girly Girl. Oh my Ooh, gosh. Cool air. Can I you love believe that it? color? Oh. Mom and I are taking Sam, her mom, and we invited Kelly and Addie to come along dress shopping today. What size do you wear? From a 10 to a 12. I feel like a junior coach since I'm taking Samantha dress shopping. Samantha better be lucky she has me instead of Miss Allison and just Joe. Lord help them. We gotta think about her skin you color. Know, We're not gonna tan her for this because that's, I think, part of who she is. It absolutely is. So I don't think we should change that. It's that gorgeous skin. It is. Porcelain skin. My ideal pageant for her would be to be herself. This is what I've told Addison from the beginning. When you're on that stage and you feel good inside, it shines through your eyes, it shines through your smile, and you're judged on poise and personality and things like that. Kelly has been absolutely helpful. She's not telling me what I want to hear. She's telling me exactly how it is. It was very supportive. She's ready. <gasps> oh, wow. oh, my gosh. I told y'all that color looks phenomenal. Yes, That's honey. Gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I was like, oh my gosh, is this a dream? 
Like, it was so me, like, colorful and sparkly and sequiny. It was like, it was amazing. <laughs> You feel like a princess? Yes. Good. You look like one, girl. Pageants are about looks. Samantha's very brave doing a pageant. I dare, double dog dare, somebody talk bad about Samantha. Oh. You got the dress, girl? Let's go. Let's go to lunch. No, I'm really? Yeah. Let's go to lunch. Story of my flipping line. It's the wrong key. D major flat. I need it in A major. This is my last ditch effort to rehearse these girls before the pageant. Huh? Oh, cool, drink water. While Allison's out shopping with Samantha and Addison, I wanted to get in one last practice with Raven and Adia. Raven, won't you and you, Eunice come over here and stand with me so let's kind of look and see what it looks like. Come on, Raven. My hardest competition this week is Addison because we're both tapping. So you decide to go with the with the tap? Yeah, it looks good. Just show me what you got. I know that I've been working harder than Addison on my talent and I have better speaking skills. Very nice. Let's face reality here. Addison and Raven are in two different leagues when it comes to talent and interview. You add talent in an interview, and Raven is a sure win. Coming up. Listen to. Hold on, hold on. What happened to the Latin? It was easier in English. Raw talent will only get you so far. And later, Samantha, you ready? Sam, are you ready? Get up here. This week's pageant is Miss Atlanta 2064, and I am so excited to hear Adia sing opera. So let's do it. Ave Maria. Oh, listen to Ave Okay, hold on, hold on. What happened to the Latin? She couldn't get the pronunciation. Okay. I mean, Latin is hard, but you've had a few days. It was easier in English. I'm a bit upset that Adi is not singing the song in Latin. I need my girls to step it up to the top tier if they're expecting to compete on a national level. You've got the raw talent to do this, but raw talent will only get you so far. This is a lot to, to do, but you can do this. Watch my door. I can't get out of this car. I'm too old. And you got glitter all over my darn seat. <laughs> so Kim has given me the responsibility to basically choose where we're going to have mom's birthday. And I'm really excited to show her. Where the heck are we, girl? It's going to be killer. Well, good Lord. This looks like you're, and we're going to a baby shower, honey. And she's closed shop a long time ago. Good fellowship. Oh, God, I'm so tired walking up these steps. Why do you have to wear six inch heels? Why did Nana's going to be climbing five flights of stairs? Go. Honey, you're going to like this place. It's Allison. nice and quaint. The atmosphere is great. Oh, my gosh. This is a flipping bar. I should have known. He was going to have it in a bar. I mean, my God, she boozes at the Bible study. I was singing church fellowship hall. I was singing a uh, nice restaurant. Kim, she's 68. This, uh, we this... are not going to the church fellowship hall. It's time for her to bust loose a little bit now. Honestly, I feel like the plan is completely and utterly brilliant. Why would you come up here to this place and do a birthday party for your 67-year-old mother? Mom's never going to know that this is a surprise party for her if it is at a bar. This is ridiculous. Well, first of all, you're wrong. It's 68. 67. My mother is 68. I think I should know how old my mother is. This is not mom at all. If you'd have left it up to you, we'd have had nothing. At least we got a place to party. Oh, my God. I can't deal with you. I cannot deal with you. I'm excited about the pageant, like really excited, but I'm just a little nervous about going on stage because I don't want to mess up. Hello! Ah! This is the Miss Atlanta 2064. It's got talent, futuristic wear, on stage question, and evening gown. I'm telling you, it's a big honor to be chosen Miss Atlanta 2064. Hey, beautiful! Hi! Hi! Hey, are you nervous? A little bit, not really though. I guess a little bit, yeah. 
Sam is not your typical pageant girl. However, I think Samantha has a really good shot at winning this sucker. She's got confidence, y'all. It's just oozing out of her pores. All my vocalists start warming up. Let's do it. Go. Ooh. Are you breathing? Ooh. Breathe. <laughs> Don't do that with fit that without filling your diaphragm first. Because if you do that without without yes, filling your diaphragm, your voice will get <laughs> raw. So. Mm -hmm. Well, like she even knows what a diaphragm is. I do. Mom, diaphragm ain't birth control. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know why I still work here. Can you tell me what you're doing for the um, question? I want to hear it. What is your ideal world in 2064? My ideal of 2064 is a completely different world than what we see today, as far as medical, environmental, and just society as a whole. Well, how do you see it different medically? I didn't finish my answer. I cannot believe that Kim is trying to get into Raven's head before it's time to walk out on stage. Um, hold on one second. Okay, well, yeah. She just doesn't want you to say that she's mechanical. That's exactly what I was getting ready to say, because there was nothing or personal about that hair. answer. Raven is wound tighter than a $2 watch. She's got to just stop and let it flow. If Raven could let down her guard and show her personality, coupled with her preparation, ooh, sky's the limit. What is your ideal world? Don't tell me about medical. How does it affect you as a person? Make this personal. Go. Um, she thinks that pressure is going to inspire them. I think she's wrong. I'm going to tell you right now, you're too good not to push. You're too good not to push all the way. And now she's doubting herself. All right, go get ready. All right, make it personal. Y'all, start getting ready. We've got about an hour. Make it happen. Hey, Mom, I need, you... <laughs> I need you to go get some white concealer. Go to who? Oh, God. Let's go. go with her. Take her. Mm -hmm. Addie needs to start being mom chaperone at the pageant. To... Sometimes I wonder if having my mom work with me is such a good idea. Bless her heart. I mean, the woman birthed me, but hand to heaven, I would not have hired her if I didn't have to. You ready to look at yourself? Yes. One, two. Oh my gosh! I've never had my eyebrows brown before and I've never looked like that. And it looks great. I love it! Isn't that great? Look at your hair, girl! It's like I love it all. Let's do this thing. Let's do this, me and you. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go get our Let's towel. do this. I am dying to see this dress on Samantha. I mean, this kid is beautiful. She's got her walk slow though, but I'll be back there with her, so. Samantha, you ready? Sam, are you ready? Oh my goodness. Look at you. When Samantha comes out, I am absolutely speechless. And the first thing that ran through my mind was those little ballerina dolls and little jewelry boxes that you open up and they just spin around. Absolutely stunning, beautiful. My little girl looked, she looked all grown up. It is the uh, perfect. Look dress again. for you and the perfect color. I feel confident and beautiful. And I love the dress. I love it so much. <laughs> I love it to pieces. Well, you look amazing. All right, you ready to go win this thing? Yes. Look, Sam's so memorable, so different. That's gonna work to her advantage. I'll grab your water. You're in a gown. Go. Some of the most successful models out there are not your typical beauties. I mean, they've got spaces between their teeth, some are bald. But to me, that's what makes the most beautiful woman is the fact she doesn't look like anybody else. Let's go. Be careful, be careful. Slow, slow, slow. And remember, Samantha, when you're on stage, take your time. Okay. I hope Samantha can really navigate that stage because once she's out there, I can't help her. Oh, God. Are you okay? Sort of tripping. Be careful, be careful. Coming up. I, 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 I can. And later. You can't do that to her before she goes out. I will continue to coach the way I've always coached you. Then maybe we need a new coach. Careful, be careful. Slow, slow, slow. And remember, Samantha, when you're on stage, take your time. Okay. We're at the Miss Atlanta 2064 pageant. I've got a group of older girls competing, and I also have Samantha, who's 10 years old, competing in the younger girl category. I'm doing double duty, y'all. 
Oh, God. Stay dry. Are you okay? Sort of tripping. Be careful, be careful. I just hope Samantha remembers what I told her. She's not gonna be able to really see the judges, but she can imagine them. Watch these girls do their tea. Watch how they answer their questions, okay? That's how you'll know what to do, okay? I feel really excited, but I am a little nervous. I hope that people won't judge me because I'm different. <laughs> In the back, go right up here to this line, and take a turn. Next, let's welcome to the stage contestant number nine, Samantha. <laughs> Smile, Sam. If you can't see him, imagine him. What is your ideal world in 2064? My ideal world in 2064 is for there to be technology that corrects my vision because I have albinism. You may notice that my skin and my hair is a lot lighter than a lot of yours. And that is because I don't have any pigment. I am legally blind. My ideal world in 2064 is for me not to be judged by other people because I'm different. Thank you. It was flawless. She did an amazing job. It was a tough task. and. Samantha rose to the occasion. So oh my gosh, she nailed it. We heard every bit of it. I'm really proud of Samantha. She did good. Now we're gonna bring out all the girls in the Teen Miss Division today. <laughs> Contestant number 12, Addison. I'm a girl who is very observant about what happens in the USA. Recently, I've been watching Nancy Grace and Law and & Order and NCIS, and I've seen rapists, murderers, and all that. What is your ideal world in 2064? Honestly, I hope when babies are born, they put location devices in them. That might sound weird, but normally it takes five months or even five years to find missing kids or kidnapped. So I hope in 2064 that if they get kidnapped, we look them up on a computer and bam, we find them. Thank you. Way to go, Eddie! I'd rather Addison watch less of NCIS and start reading a book more. How about that? That's fast forever. Next, we have contestant number 14, Adia. My ideal world for 2064 is that everything is free. Food is something that we need to survive with, so I do not think that you should pay for food. That's just stupid. And that's it. <laughs> not the best speech for Adia. She just seems to be a little bit uncomfortable today for some reason. Raven, make it personal. You can say all your stats and do all your stuff. Make it personal. You understand me? Let's go. Right before I go on stage, all I'm thinking is add something real. My ideal 2064 is a completely different world than we see today. I predict that in 2064, there will be a cure for diseases such as cancer and diabetes. Also, I, I can see a world in, with no more pollution and no more global warming. Most importantly, I I envision a world where we can live in harmony and no longer have wars. Thank you. Right at the point where she wanted to add something personal per Kim, everything went south. Don't, 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 don't talk to me right now. I didn't get to say anything personal about me because my mind just went blank. Okay, it's, okay, it's, think okay. Of it. it's okay. It's you okay. You didn't stop. You didn't yeah. stop, Raven. You pushed through. After Raven finished her on-stage question, I was livid. I want to talk to Kim right now. Oh, my gosh. Kim, I know you mean well, but save your critiquing for afterwards. Don't change anything minutes before she's ready to go on stage. She has never had this issue before. Why do you think she has it? Because you're in her head. When she said I was getting into Raven's head, I wanted to go, well, hallelujah, for the love of God, it's about time. That's what I've been trying to do since I met your daughter. How many times have I got to tell y'all you got to make it more personal? But that was her personal. It, that's exactly right. You don't have to critique her minutes before she goes on the stage. 
You save your coaching for the pageant place. When she's here, it's time to go on. It's time for the show. Eunice is getting on my last nerve. She just doesn't get it. I'm trying to make Raven stronger, and coddling her is not going to take her to Miss America. I'm pushing you and her more than you've ever been pushed before. Would you agree with that? I don't need to be pushed. If you want me to trust you with my baby, you can't do that to her before she goes out. I will continue to coach the way I've always coached these girls, and I promise you. And maybe we need a new coach. If Kim can't adjust to what Raven needs, then maybe Kim isn't the right coach for Raven. Coming up, Adi, are you upset? Tell me why. This is my last pageant. Raven was crying because Raven wasn't secure in herself. And why is she not secure with herself, mother? Because she's not real with herself. Correct. Let's go, talent. I'm about over Eunice right now. I'm mad and we'll set it aside because the show must go on and we've got about 20 minutes to get these girls on the stage. Oh! Addison, you look hot. You look so futuristic. She looks like a futuristic Barbarella. In the future, I don't think girls are going to use eyeshadow. I think they're just going to spray paint silver stuff across their face. <laughs> Adi! I'm not really happy with my future right now. I didn't turn out the way I expected to because I don't have the ideal body. I love it. That's great. Eunice, where's Raven? How's she doing? She's great. How are you doing? I love uncomfortable silence. I know I'm hard on Raven. It's because I really believe that she can win a national pageant. <laughs> I really messed up my speech, but getting ready to go to talent, I feel so confident because my futuristic wear is so cute. Samantha, let me see. I'm dying. <laughs> this is amazing. You ready to see yourself? Yes. OK, Sam, turn around. Likes it. Do you love it? Yes. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. All right, Judy Jetson, lead the way. Let's go. The talent portion of Miss Atlanta 2064 is set 50 years in the future. And with Samantha's outfit, she's going to knock this thing out of this world. Contestant number nine, Samantha. I put my shades on, but I... The track needs to come up big time. I messed up one little bit of my song, but I think I recovered pretty well. I'm unique, I look different, but I have fun. It was hard for Samantha. It was the first time for her ever singing live to a track, and she couldn't kind of get her bearings. In between time, man, we got fun. <laughs> Fantastic. OK, let's go down. I tell you, I love Samantha. Today, her music track got the best of her out there on stage. I had to speed it up because I started like But what I'm saying is you yeah. did it. You adjusted yeah. and you made it work. But she's a fighter. I mean, she still pulled it off. You did good, Sam. Thank you. I think Samantha did very good in beauty and talent. And I feel even better that I brought her to the pageant place. Let's go, let's go. The younger girls are done doing their future wear. Now it's time for the older girls to go do their thing. Not only will I kill this, I will skin it, hang it, and make some jerky. Do it, girl. Tonight. I'm trying my best right now. Since we've been talking about Nashville, my kids look at everything, so I've got to do good today. Please welcome to the stage contestant number 14, Adia. I'm really nervous. This is a really hard song. I mean, I'm doing really good in English, but this is like a really hard song to learn. Ave Marie. She's making the audience feel that song. Really 
wish he would have sung the song in Latin. It would have been so much more powerful and impressive. Raven's tapping isn't terrible, but singing is definitely her forte and she needs to go back to it. I mean, why are you giving them chop chop when you can give them filet mignon? Okay, that went a lot better than my speech. I'm just so relieved, I'm really glad. We're going to bring back onto stage all of our young contestants for crowning. Oh, they look precious. Oh, look, look at these cuties. I think Samantha has a really good chance of winning. It's her first pageant, so uh, my fingers are crossed and my hopes are high, but I'm not counting on it. I hope Samantha gets something. Me too. It's gonna be so sad if she does. And your second runner-up is contestant number nine, Samantha. <laughs> Second runner up in my first pageant. That's like, that, that's great. Oh, girl, are you ecstatic? All right, stay right here and watch your other girls. Let's bring out all of our teen contestants for today. My girls look way cooler than the rest of the competition. I see some crowns in our future, and it ain't gonna be in 2064 either. I don't know what to expect. I'm sitting here on pins and needles, hoping for the best. I am so nervous right now, and everything's going on in my head. I don't know what to think, what to do. It's just a lot of pressure. The reason I want to win, not to be mean, but I want to beat Raven. If I beat Raven, I'll probably be the happiest person alive. And our first runner-up is contestant number 16, Raven. Yay! Yay! I get first runner-up, and I'm very happy because I thought I might have not have even placed because I messed up on my question. And you're new, Teen Miss Atlanta, 2064. Is contestant number 12, Addison. Addison did a pretty good job, but I think if I wouldn't have messed up on my question, I could have beaten her. It feels the bomb to be right with this week. And I got the crown, baby. All right, great day! Woo! I am so uber, psycho, crazy, nutter proud of these kids. Eddie, you can't be beat, babe. Way to go, Adia! David, What's you wrong? did good, Adia! I feel like I didn't win anything because I feel like I don't have the perfect body that they want me to have. Are you upset? Tell me why. This is my last pageant. Tell me why. I don't want nobody in here. You don't want anybody in here? Everybody head out. I'm fired up. I do not want to do pageants anymore because I felt like I should have won something. I felt like the judges weren't being fair. I think they're looking for perfect body, perfect hair, perfect everything, and that's not me. You've got a beautiful body, an amazing voice, and an amazing personality. And if you let three judges speak to who you are as a person, then you have lost. <laughs> What's going on? Pageants are an art. It's, a, it's, you gotta get comfortable with yourself on stage. And these pageants are so hard on her. I think we're regressing with Adia and she's going backwards instead of moving forward. Don't get mad. Don't get hard. I'm telling you, I see it in your eyes, yes. girl. If you start to get hard, that means they win. And what you fail to realize, dear, you are winning. Do you believe that? No, she's not there. She's not, yeah. She's not there, y'all. I'm really grateful to Kim for everything that she's done for us. I just think that Adia needs a break, just so she can have time just to be a kid. You shouldn't care about what people say about you unless it's constructive criticism. Like, what people, it's their opinion. Everyone's entitled to an opinion, but you should just worry about, like, you. Like, you had fun, right? That's all that matters. You don't need a crown or a trophy or a medal to show that. I love her. Give me a hug. I absolutely love this kid and I believe in her. But right now, I think her focus would be better spent on herself. Adia will always be my girl and always be welcome at the pageant place. Let's pack it up, let's go. Good job, Raven. Eunice. Yes. I don't know what's going on between my mom and Miss Kim, but 
I hope it stops because I don't want another coach. My goal is to get to Miss America, and I believe Miss Kim can take me there. I expect to see you Wednesday at rehearsal. Great. I was not too happy, but Raven wants Kim to coach her, so I have to just shh and just suck it up. Give it up. Love y'all. Good job, Raven. Addie, you can't be beat, babe. I hate to break it to you, you done crossed the threshold. You done stepped all into greatness, my friend. Addison has been very helpful to me this week. Like, I don't know what I would have done without her opinions, the dresses, and I think there would have been a piece missing without Addison. I'm out of here. Right, Bye, guys. guys. Bye. Good job. Way to go, Addie Bell. First pageant, second runner-up, uh, 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 and beautiful hair is the truth. How did you feel? Would you like it? Are you excited? Tell yes. me, talk to me. Yes, okay, so I was so, like, I, I was up there and I was smiling, like, yeah, and then I said first runner-up goes to contestant nine, and I was like, <sighs> the thing I enjoyed most out of this week was all of it, like, the whole experience. It was all just amazing. Stephanie, you gotta be proud of this kid. I am so proud of her. I was ready to jump out of my seat. I was just so, and just not even for the pageant. I am just proud of her. Just Me too. Who she is and the way she carries herself. I see more pageants in your future, considering this is a futuristic pageant. <laughs> what do you think, Sam? I like that. <laughs> I like it too. I love you, baby. All Can right. I get the time machine in trouble there right now? To another pageant? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can see it. Let's go. Allison, where in the world have you brought us? I'll be exhausted by the time I ever get up here. We're just coming for a little after pageant snack. Can y'all just get on with it? I'm not surprised at all going into this, this pool hall, bar, whatever it is, because Allison chose the place. Why did we let her pick the restaurant? Lord, y'all. I had never been so shocked and surprised. It was just wonderful. There was people there that I hadn't seen for 22, 23 years. <laughs> that makes me dizzy. No, it's not 68. I am not 68. I'm 67. OK, so I did find out that she is 67. Blow out your candles. Oh. Oh. Taking this 68 off of this, <laughs> not 68.